The quiet suburban experience, a quintessential part of what many consider as the Australian identity. From the art of people like Howard Arkley to mainstream media representations such as Neighbours, life in a detached house in the suburbs has become intrinsic to the psyche of living in Australia. But where did it come from? Why is this experience so important to the Australian identity? To answer that, we need to be introduced to this man, Ebenezer Howard, who started the Garden City movement with his book, Garden Cities of Tomorrow. The movement started in England, with Letchworth being the first garden city. It then spread throughout the world, but had particularly significant influence here, in Australia. Local examples in Perth, Western Australia, include Floria Park, which was originally known as the Endowment Lands. William Bold, who was a prominent planner at the time, used ideals and methods of the Garden City philosophy in the laying out of this WA suburb. Features such as large access boulevards and green belts of parkland were incorporated into the planning of this Garden City suburb, and these features are still very evident to this day. To look at another West Australian example, we go from Florey to Wendawi in Perth's east. Looking at Wendawi, we can clearly see how the boulevards, central civic buildings and residential buildings have been surrounded by a belt of rural land. One particular planning practice taken from the Garden City movement that led to the development of mostly detached houses in Australia was the act of limiting the number of people or residences you could have for a portion of land. So an area of land was dis decided on for development and a certain number of residences were allowed on that area of land. This meant the old practice of building row houses went out the window, lot areas got bigger, and the row houses were replaced by detached dwellings. This practice was so influential that by the 1950s, 80% of people lived in detached houses in the suburbs of Australia, and that number is still approximately the same today. When a survey was carried out in relation to people's ideas of life in Australia, 85% of respondents thought of a house and garden as the typical dwelling. Identity can be shaped through personal experience and common cultural backgrounds. In Australia, a common cultural identity is life lived in suburbs, in detached houses with gardens. Due to early planning policies influenced by the Garden City movement, which encouraged a blend between the advantages of close proximity to work found in towns and cities, with the health and financial benefits of a rural lifestyle. The life people led in their detached homes and gardens created an almost nationalistic pride in suburbs felt by many people living in Australia, making the Garden City movement an intrinsic part of the Australian identity.